Hi guys, and welcome back to Nana Joe's Kitchen. Today we're gonna be making some quesadilla tacos, and I know I showed you guys this recipe a lot, but some people wanna see it again, so we're gonna post it. These are the ingredients that we're going to need. I'm gonna list everything on the screen for you guys, and also in the description. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed or follow me on all social medias, do not forget to do that. So the secret to my birria is the consomme. I demand for that to be super tasty because when I'm dipping my taco in there, I want to follow my ass. So in order to make our consomme taste delicious we need bones beef bones of course but you're not just gonna put them in the pot and then just voila magically your food's gonna taste delicious you have to make it work we're gonna rinse the bones first under cold water because we're trying to get rid of all the little bone fragments that are left behind from cutting up the bones we're gonna boil off all the gunk from the bones i'm gonna be saying bones a lot so get ready to count I decided to put boiling hot water, but you can just use regular water, put it on the stove, and then let them boil for 10 minutes. Do not add salt, don't add nothing. We're just boiling out the gunk. And trust me, the house is gonna sink and your water is gonna look kind of greenish. Don't know where that color comes from. All I know is that it is not gonna go in our birria. Once it looks like this, you're going to throw all that nasty caldo away and then you're gonna re-rinse the bones. And by re-rinsing, I mean you're gonna throw everything out of the pot and then re-clean those bones individually so that they're squeaky clean Clean and then put them in clean water. We're just gonna get all that bone broth without the gunk. For the beef, we're going to use diez millo or chuck roast. Before you guys wanna point it out, yes, I'm wearing a sports bra because I'm about to go work out in the gym while my meat is cooking because we multitask here. Anyways, we're gonna cut up the beef into cubes or chunks. Cutting mine into medium-sized pieces, but the smaller you cut them, the faster they will cook. The prepping of the bones and the beef is probably the most time-consuming, but trust me, if you do this, it's going to be worth it and people are gonna know you put some work on this beef or birria and also guys always remember to rinse out the beef because you never know what the carnicero did to that beef once you've showed some love to the beef and the bones which is fully clean them you're gonna put them in a pot with water how much water just enough to fill up the carne putting two onions because mine were like mini version of onions but i would put one whole onion and one garlic head I'm also gonna add five bay leaves i'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of salt and i say a couple of tablespoons because my saltiness might not be your saltiness so you're gonna add as many tablespoons of salt as your palate tells you. I'm also gonna add a whole cap full of consomme de pollo, but you can also use consomme de beef. As your meat is gonna start to boil, there's gonna be some foam that's gonna be released on the top of the pot and you're going to remove it. Remember, we don't want nastiness in the broth. We want it to taste clean. We want it to taste smooth. We want it to taste delicious and not gamey and nasty. You know what I'm telling you guys? Now we're just gonna cover it up and let this simmer for about an hour and a half to two hours until the meat is nice and tender. In the meantime, I went to the gym, AKA my my garage and I worked out and took a shower. Now I'm down here peeling all the chiles and deseeding them. Actually, you don't peel chiles. You just um, take off the stems and deseed them. The thing I like to do before rehydrating the chiles is frying them up in a little bit of oil. This is going to give it a different taste. Now I like bad different. It's going to give it a good different taste. But trust me, don't skip this part. Just give it a light little toast, a light little fry. Then once you're done doing that, you're going to put it in a pot with water and then boil them until they rehydrate. Once that is done, you're going to put everything into the blender along with all of your aromatics and all of your spices also going to add a quarter cup of vinegar to the blender and whatever vinegar you use just don't forget it trust me it is crucial for you to add that vinegar you're just going to blend everything together until the sauce is nice and smooth i'm not going to strain the sauce only because my blender blends really well if yours doesn't 10 out of 10 recommend for you to strain that sauce we're gonna cover this up and let this cook for another hour until the meat is fall off the bone. Melting almost. At this point, the birria is ready for you to do whatever it is that you're gonna do with it. I like to separate the beef, the broth, and the fat. The fat we're gonna use to dip if we're making the quesadilla tacos because it's gonna give your tortilla a nice color and a nice crisp. Not to mention the flavor. You're gonna add your cheese of choice, your beef, and then you're just gonna let them crisp up on your comal. Once they're ready, I just put them on a napkin just to catch any excess fat, and then I serve them with the consomme. There you have it, guys. You just made some quesadilla tacos. Tacos. Hope you like this recipe. Bye.